little ABG. The mom is thinking. She's thinking about expansion. We love fashion, Brian. She got the fire behind her eyes. I could tell, man. The Viet Connection. Let's have an honest conversation here. Would you ever take any dating advice from your Asian parent? What's going on, everybody? Andrew here. I'm going to be reacting to Jubilee's mom swipes 20 girls for her son. This is an Asian mom, an Asian son. I have an Asian mom. I'm an Asian son. So it's relatable. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you would ever let your parents pick a date for you and how you think that would work. Um, and also, please, before we get into this video, please hit that like button. Help me out with the algorithm, please. All right, let's get into it. Excited. I'm like kind of nervous for some reason. First, I'm not. Then now She's make not. he make me. Uh, my name's Brian. I'm 25. I'm a photographer and videographer here in LA. Oh, he's an IG guy. This is my beautiful mom. I'm Cindy. I'm a nail salon owner. I'm very happy to come today. Hey, I'm gonna tell you this, nail salon owner. This woman is a low key boss. I think she's putting the smile on, but honestly, she got the fire behind her eyes. I could tell, man. And also, being in the beauty industry, she's very judgmental. And, and you know, she, she's been around a lot of different types of women, you know, because a lot of women obviously are patrons of her business. So I, I think she has, like, she has her way of thinking. This show. Yeah, and hopefully, just, I picked know. one, make Brian happy. You are not here to make Brian happy. I can tell you that much. <laughs> Mom, what are you going to be looking for today in the girls? Time, first, and very nice, and being positive in life. Beautiful, come in and out. I think I trust her, yeah. <laughs> no, you don't, Brian. You're nervous right now. I can tell. Also, it's partially because you are a mama's boy. Just saying. Nothing wrong with being a mama's boy. I'm just saying that is very clear. <laughs> the mom is having so much fun swiping. I think she's like treating this like a French aristocrat. Just, oh, I like you. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. We will take you. You're nice. You're a nice little girl. <laughs> I can't tell. Yo, the mom loves this amount of control. I could tell her her grin and her teeth, and she's just like a whole time just. Ouch. The little ABG girls. He swiped left on her. He nixed this girl. I think he knows her, that's why. Mom, you kept a lot of people up. I love them all. <laughs> so nice, but only one, I have to pick the final. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> all right, ready? So, let's do like this. Okay. <laughs> Mom, left or right? Cute. Cute. Please move. Okay. Just touch me. Right, can we touch? Can we touch? Sure. All right. So cute. This segment's kind of cringy, and I will tell you this, Brian. He doesn't have the most charisma. I feel like you know he's a guy who's really behind the camera doing videography and photography. So that's kind of his style. <laughs> My heart's pounding. Awesome. <laughs> 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 Like a side hug thing? Side hug? And then, like like little, hover like, hands? Yeah, like, no, like, like that. Yo, straight up, this girl is probably five foot ten or at least five nine. Like, she is straight, like, basketball player height. She's pretty. She has a cute smile. But I was like, oh, man, she's tall. <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. We're at an event. We're just like, oh, camera. Oh, camera. camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I was wondering if I could actually Titanic you. Just got my arms back a little bit. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> nice. Short. So would you be down to do a piggyback? Sure. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, little ABG, 
like a little festival, Coachella. Oh, you want to see the stage Post Malone is performing? Get on my back. It's okay. Well, why don't you should get on your shoulders too? <laughs> She's too fun. She knows. She knows this type of girl. She's seen this girl come into her nail salon, and she's probably seen her mom come into the nail salon. She's probably like, no, I know her mother. The ABG girl. They all they come through, talk about uh, their friend Molly, and she party too much. I don't like her. Like a dinner and choosing. Cheers. Yes, I can tell you this white girl right here is definitely an actress. The way she held her hand and was like, okay, we're doing a scene together and we're frolicking through the field. Okay, make sure there's joy in your face. <laughs> oh. Mom said, no swag pose, no swag pose. We don't like that. I'm classy. This lady, I think, I think the mom, if I had to make any assumptions about her background, comes from a good family in Vietnam, all right? Went through the war, had to come over here, started from nothing, built up that business, still got that classy blood in her, and so she, you know, she carries herself with uh, a lot of esteem. <laughs> So I kind of figured we would just skip ahead a little bit. Okay. And could you get down on one knee? No. <laughs> you can't say no. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to manifest right now. Manifest it. The laws of attraction. Make it happen first, then it really will happen. Yes? <laughs> Three, two, one. I don't know. Okay. Like this. <laughs> Maybe we could do something to look like sidekicks. You'd be like the hero? Okay. I'd be the sidekick. Okay. All right. All right. This girl is not really interested in him. I think this girl came on this show and was like, yeah, I'll just like be a stand-in or whatever. Like, I'll be an extra. Like, I'm not really trying to date. I'm actually trying to smoke. Good job, mom. I tried my best. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Charlotte. Nice to meet you. Nice I'm Fabiola. My name is Kirsten. I'm super nervous. <laughs> she's, she's friendly. It's okay. How are you doing? That's when you know your mom is not friendly, when you got to tell the other person, like, yeah, 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 that, uh, she won't bite. She won't bite. Okay, thank you. Tell me a little bit about you. So my name is Ksenia. I'm originally from Russia, but I moved to Austria and now I'm here. So I've been moving a lot. I'm originally from... Hey, she's an immigrant girl. She might be very traditional. Might be a good pick, mom. I'm a Washington State, so I love the outdoors. I go to Cal State Fullerton. I'm studying mechanical engineering with an art minor. I made these... And playing basketball at Cal State Fullerton, right? You're on the team? Shoes, these are custom shoes. Wow. Um, it's like my frat because I'm an engineer. I'm not gonna lie, those custom Air Force ones, uh, not tight. In fraternity, yeah. I am also the president of the fashion club at my school. Oh, that's really cool. And then I'm very athletic and I like working out and like going on I adventures. Can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I'm a creative person, so I love painting, I love art, drawing, playing guitar, and I love sports too. What kind of sport do you like? Basketball. Yes. <laughs> Dude, Brian likes her. Uh, Brian's like, yeah, mom, come on. This girl right here, basketball player, come on, mom. Do the right thing, mom. Who's your team? Ooh, that's a tough one right now. There's only one right answer. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna say Warriors. Yeah. Okay. okay. Aren't you from LA? You didn't say the Lakers? Where's your hometown? Oh, my hometown? San Jose. I don't know, are you Vietnamese? Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of Vietnamese yeah. people there. Yeah, I, yeah. Have, I have relatives live in San Jose. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's really nice. It's similar to Phuc Lộc Tho. Yeah. Yo, she's connecting on the Viet. The Viet connection. As a girl that is trying to be a suitor for this lady's son, how well does it play? Because I actually feel like she's judging the Asian girls 
extra hard because she's like, oh, you think it's going to be easy? You want to play the vit card? You live by my sister in San Jose? Next! And for after you're done school and you're going to do the fat design. When I graduate, I plan on doing like engineering, like solar panels and stuff. After I get enough experience with that, I'll just start designing my own products. And dunking. She's going to dunk on people. And then I'll have like a clothing line on the side too. So Busy. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah a lot going on. Entrepreneur stuff. Yeah, yeah. 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 Very good business minded. Any relationship you have before in the past? That entrepreneurship line connected with the mom doing the nail shop. The entrepreneurship mind, they connected. She said, oh, yeah. Yeah, you like small business? Do you like running a nail shop? Maybe. She's thinking about the future. She is not thinking about what Brian thinks is fun, though. I've had two, like, serious relationships. One actually was with a woman. And um, I broke up with her a little while ago. We were just both not mentally stable to be taking care of each other in a relationship. So we're both better now. Might have been an overshare. Yeah, I mean, maybe. I'm just saying. <laughs> if you were really trying to date this guy, I, I think she's being honest, though. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Are you are you uncomfortable? No. No, I, I'm good not. To know. I'm very, just waiting for her to ask No, very nice to tell me about that. Be honest to tell you. Yeah, What's yeah. The past? Yeah, I like that. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Thank you for telling me about your past and your search history and everything else. Thank you. Yeah, I like to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> That's that important. Yeah. <laughs> are you ready to date? Who? <laughs> and, and like, not, okay. In general, in general. Yeah, that was like, that sounded um, crazy. <laughs> not like that. Um, I mean, yeah, if someone is, you know, oh if someone worthy yeah. enters the scenario, which they haven't. This girl is going to be single forever. How is it? Good. <laughs> uh, I'm curious. I picked this one because he was like minded, you know, oh, yeah, creating artists, yeah. yeah. Artists to me, what, what, yeah, yeah. and that about fashion. Yeah, yeah. You know, we love fashion, right? Yeah. 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 Right? We love the fashion. We love fashion, Brian. Hi. 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 Hey. Fabiola. Fabiola, okay. Were you surprised? Yo, I'm not gonna lie, he didn't even remember her name. He was not that interested in her. She's a really nice girl. I think she's a good pick, but I, I, I don't think that like that's what Brian was looking for, let's be honest. I think the mom has a vision. She's like, okay, they make tall children. Okay, maybe they the baby is like six foot five. Okay, I want some tall kids. They can run the nail shop, expand the nail shop, add in fashion, then she can engineer a new type of nail because she do the chemical engineer so she can can make the new chemical crystal gel and then it revolutionized the nail industry the mom is thinking that's how this mom is thinking she's thinking about expansion and takeover not fun not fun brian takeover and expansion your mom is a boss i had like no idea so it's like this is awesome <laughs> great pick yeah for sure do, do you like it <laughs> all right this whole thing was pretty awkward because like i could tell he's not that interested at her and she's just like ah, well are we gonna like even go on a date now and like it's okay like anyways all right everybody i've come to a few conclusions after watching this video and just the asian parent and asian child dynamic is so funny it has been played out in media so much because there's such a big generational rift between what the parents want for the kids and what the kids want if the kids are americanized right so i think it's always really funny to see these videos and when it comes to taking dating advice from your traditional asian parents one thing you have to remember is you don't have to write it off completely listen to what they have to say and why they're saying it and the logic behind it but you do not have to obey them. I mean, I feel like you have a life to live. It's the person you got to spend time around. You have to build with. You have to partner with. So obviously, you have to think about how it's going to work out. But obviously, Asian parents, 
They want, listen, they can't, she came here with probably no money in her pocket, you know, ran up that business from, from zero to whatever it is right now. So obviously she's also kind of a controlling mom. I feel like she dragged him here. Like, I don't think he was trying to date on Jubilee. I think she's like, no, Brian, it would be fun for me. All right, having the Vietnamese mom pick for the son reminded me when my dad would literally just point out every smart girl that he had ever come in contact with and recommend her to me. Like my dad would literally be like, hey, Andrew, I just met uh, Miranda there and uh, I guess she just got accepted to John Hopkins. Maybe you should date her. I'm like, that. John Hopkins is in Baltimore, and she was not my type. But shout out to Miranda. Much respect. I hope she's doing well. I think she's killing it right now. One thing I notice about a lot of videographers and photographers, especially around Brian's age, is that they're a lot more charismatic and expressive online in their Instagram than they are in real life. And I feel like that is Brian right here because uh, you can see... Like, this is not, you didn't see this Brian at Jubilee. You didn't like, who is this Brian, right? Like, he seems so, like, reserved and kind of shy and awkward during the Jubilee. And then here he is. Look, he's doing donuts in a little go-kart. So, anyways, that's another thing I noticed. Uh, he does kind of have your TikTok kind of soft boy uh, imagery. But overall, I think it works for him. I think he does well on the apps. He probably doesn't need this Jubilee video. Uh, he's definitely an above average Asian guy for sure. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching that video. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Please hit that like button. Let me know if you like these reaction videos. I can react to more videos. I like to do it. I like analyzing people, things, and culture. So let me know. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.